Pekka. Pekka is this traditional Dalmatian food that first is really good, but confusingly not a dish, but a way of cooking certain foods, although everyone refers to Pekka as a food. So Pekka actually means bake, and then of course you bake the traditional foods that go into the Pekka. So I guess at the end of the day it kind of makes sense. I'm here today to see exactly what Pekka is, both how it's cooked and what goes in it. I'm with my good friends Marta and Nick Shaw here at Marta's parents' house. And even though I'm meeting Marta's parents, Yuri and Natalia, for the first time, they have, in typical Dalmatian style, made me part of the family right away. No formal dishing up of my plate or serving me. I'm delightfully on my own, just like the rest of the family. This is a pekka, the traditional uh, meal from Dalmatian. The name of the big place is a komin. My brother is a cook. I met Marta's brother Drago and a lot of the other family picking olives in their olive orchard in Chevenishte a few weeks ago. And I apologize for butchering the name of their town. Drago? Hi. Hello. Dante. Hello. Petra. Ah, Hello. My aunt. And I'm Marta. We all know Marta. Yeah, we all know Marta. <laughs> and she is again my fabulous host here at her childhood home teaching me everything I need to know about Pekka. Every day we want to make something like special for lunch and for a dear guests like you. Thank you. So this is how it goes. You must have a fire, a uh, big fire. You have veal and chicken with uh, potatoes, garlic, onion, carrots, and whatever vegetables you like. Also paprika. Some people put inside rosemary, but we don't like so much. My mother puts uh, uh, lots of spices. <laughs> Once the fire's up, the pan goes into the pekka. Then it gets covered in hot coals. And uh, it's cooked around one uh, hour and a half altogether. Then at just the right time, and I don't know how they know, but they do, but at just the right time, you pull out the pan to flip the meat to get even cooking. Then the pan goes back under, gets covered in new hot coals, and finishes cooking. So while we wait for this, the table has been set and Yuri has popped open a bottle of his, actually Marta's, olive oil from their grove in Brilliant. My father prepared this for you. So it is seasoned. Uh, it's a young olive oil. It's from Olive I pick. <laughs> <laughs> and from which field? From Brella. It's a little bit like it's inside, it's a pepper because it's so young. It has a little spicy taste. And I've just been told that the more bitter it is, and this is quite bitter, uh, the higher the quality. I didn't know that. Delicious. So as good as the olive oil and bread is, and it's good, the smell of the pekka is really driving us all crazy, and we need something to get us through the next hour or so. Of course, they're prepared for this because they do this all the time and have a delightfully simple and truly tasty first course to get us through this difficult time. It's a soup with vegetables and small pieces of the veal bone. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sounds delightful. Cheers. 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 And welcome to our family. Thank you. Its smooth, subtle flavors are perfect for this cool fall day. I love this. Meanwhile, at the Komen, This is like a landscape of deliciousness. Yeah. Everywhere, 
there's the kids' table. She is shy, <laughs> and because they they always eat for the small table. This table is too small for all of us. Pika is really good, and really it's just you know meat and veggies with some spices. But what moves it to I love this and I want to eat it again tomorrow status is the way it's cooked. You get this great combination of the fire, smoke, and ash. But at the same time, it's not dry or grilled. It's almost steamed because the dome keeps in the moisture while it's cooking as the meat juice evaporates in the pan as it's heated from the bricks. This is just brilliant. That was a big pan of meat and vegetables, and there's barely enough for me to take some home for Kim. So you know this was good. And even though there's not a lot left, they're gonna make sure that Kim gets a good dinner.